My bold prediction for the 2018 baseball season, the Miami Marlins will not qualify for the World Series. Greetings baseball fans and welcome to the Suicide Squeeze Baseball Show. Yes, yes, it is the most wonderful time of year. Baseball season is back. I'm speaking of course of the regular season, not spring training. I'm sorry guys, spring training just doesn't really do it for me. I don't need to see a bunch of guys that are going to be greeting people at Walmart try to play shortstop for the Cardinals. It just doesn't interest me at all. And the Suicide Squeeze Baseball Show is making its triumphant return to YouTube today. I didn't really feel the need to make a whole lot of hot stove videos in the offseason. There wasn't a whole lot of activity going on for the most part. Plus, it's just a whole hell of a lot easier just to lay around and do nothing all day, to be quite honest with you. But as I make my triumphant return today, I felt it very necessary to do my annual baseball prediction show, my preseason baseball prediction show. I know all of you gambling folk out there who like to gamble on baseball and who like to know who's going to be in the World Series later on in October want to know my opinion on this very, very important subject because you want to know who not to pick to go to the World Series. So without further ado, let's get into the divisional predictions, shall we? But let's lead off in the National League Eastern Division, where last season I made the very grave mistake of picking the New York Mets to not only win this division, but to go on and win the World Series. Uh, now, that didn't quite work out as I planned it, uh, but I'm not going to make that mistake this season. I think the Mets will be far improved this particular season. I think they'll come in second. I think Noah Syndergaard is probably going to win the Cy Young this year. He looks very good in spring training. Even Matt Harvey looks pretty good in spring training. But I think the Nats are going to win the division this season. I mean, this is not a big, bold prediction. Most people are picking the Washington Nationals. But let me tell you something about Bryce Harper, ladies and gentlemen. This dude is a free agent at season's end. So you know damn well that this guy spent a little bit more time in the gym this offseason. He spent a little bit more time in the batting cage. And you know the entire season... Scott Boris is going to be whispering sweet nothings in this guy's ear. He's going to be telling him how great he is and how much money he's going to make at the end of the season. So I would expect a big, big season out of Bryce Harper this year. He's probably going to win MVP. Now over in the National League Central Division, the Chicago Cubs have had a little bit of a stranglehold on this division here the past couple of seasons. I don't think that's going to change this season, even though I think the Brewers are going to give them a little bit of a run for their money. I know there's a lot of Cubs fans out there who are a little upset at Theo Epstein for letting Jake Arrieta go to the Phillies. But let me tell you something, guys. Theo Epstein, this guy, he is the Albert Einstein of baseball GMs. He has broken two curses in two separate cities. And Cubs fans, you need to be giving this dude a giant bear hug every time you see him out at Wrigley Field. He is the real deal. There is a, probably a reason that he let Jake Arrieta go. I was somewhat scratching my head on that one, too. Because I think I would have rather had Arietta over Darvish, personally. And then, of course, you can never rule out the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm only bringing them up because they are the St. Louis Cardinals, and they always find a way to compete. You know, as a baseball fan, you just you want your team, you want your GM and your owner just to give your team an opportunity to go to the playoffs. And then once you get there, it's sort of a crapshoot. The Cardinals are always in the mix. They're probably the best run organization in all of sports. Don't count them out. I personally think they're going to come in third, but they're worth mentioning. Now, speaking of strangleholds, as we move on to the National League Western Division, the Los Angeles Dodgers have pretty much owned this division for many, many years now. I think JFK was president the last time the Dodgers did not win the NL West it hasn't equated to much success in the playoffs. They did finally make it to the World Series last year, only to lose a heartbreaking Game 7 to the Houston Astros, of course. Uh, I think the last time the Dodgers won the World Series, JFK probably was president. But be that as it may, I think the Dodgers are still the clear-cut division favorites this particular season. Arizona will maybe give them a little bit of a run for their money, but they will come up a bit short, will finish second. I know the Giants have made a lot of moves this season, but losing Madison Bumgarner 
was a just a disaster for them. He's only going to be out like two months, I think, but that's going to be probably enough to bury them deep in the division. I think the Dodgers win this division. I'm not sure if it's going to equate to a whole lot of success once they get to the playoffs because I think the starting pitching is a little thin. What the hell's going on out here? Now, when the folks over at ESPN are not discussing what LeBron James had for lunch on that particular day, they are probably discussing two teams that reside in the American League East. Of course, I am speaking of none other than the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. And I think this is going to be a two-way dogfight in the American League East, to be quite honest with you. But I think ultimately the Yankees are a little bit more balanced. I like their bullpen from top to bottom a little bit better. The rotation is slightly better than the Red Sox. If David Price can sort of bounce back and become the guy he was in Tampa Bay, the Red Sox have a real shot to compete for the division. But I'm picking the Yankees. I still think the Yankees made a very large mistake when they got rid of Joe Girardi after last season. Aaron Boone steps into that role. This guy has never managed uh, at any level, apparently, so it should be very interesting. I know I know he had an incident in spring training where he didn't have a pitcher ready after he pulled Patances out of the game. Probably not the best start, but we'll see how he does. Who knows? Maybe he'll be the next Bob Brindley. Bob Brindley stepped right into the Diamondbacks' managerial role and won the World Series. Now, a team that I'm very high on in 2018 resides in Cleveland, Ohio, and it is definitely not the Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. I am speaking, of course, of the Cleveland Indians, the team that set the American League record last year for a winning streak during the season. Unfortunately for them, it did not transfer over to the playoffs, but I think they will right their wrongs this season, and they will make a deep playoff run. And they should win the Central fairly easily. No disrespect to the Minnesota Twins, who had a great season last year and who should probably finish second this season, but the Indians are very stacked. I like the rotation a great deal. You have Kluber. Carrasco is probably going to win a Cy Young at some point down the road. The bullpen is maybe not quite as good as it was last year, but it's still one of the top five bullpens in all of baseball, and I think the Indians will run away with the Central. Now, moving over to a division that's very near and dear to your host's heart, I am speaking, of course, of the American League Western Division, where my beloved Angels play on a season basis and usually break my heart by season's end. I like the Angels a great deal this season. They had four-fifths of the rotation out all of last season, including their ace, Garrett Richards, who only pitched for about a month last year, and yet they still almost got the second wild card spot. They are, for the most part, completely healthy this season. Now, I know, I know, Shohei Otani has not exactly looked like Godzilla down in spring training. In fact, he's probably looked more like a lizard down in spring training. But be that as it may, I think this guy's going to figure it out, at least from a pitching standpoint. He's going to help the Angels as the season progresses. It's going to take him some time to get used to playing in the States. But once he figures it out, he's going to be just fine. And the Angels will compete. I don't... I don't know if they're going to compete for the division. Maybe up maybe to the last month of the season, I could see them sort of fading away and competing for a wild card spot. But the Houston Astros, they are the beast of this division. They are the world champs, and they are the team to beat in the American League West. Now, for you baseball fans residing in the cities of Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Tampa Bay, and especially Miami, football season will be here before you know it. Now, I think there's going to be about five to six teams vying for those two National League wild card spots. One of them will definitely be the New York Mets in the Central Division. I think it'll be the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Out West, it'll definitely be Arizona, Colorado. I would have said the Giants up till Madison Bumgarner went down, but I'm not including them in this. I think the Giants are going to dig themselves a giant hole, and I don't think they're going to be able to get out of it. But I am going to predict that the New York Mets are going to get that number one spot. They're going to get the number one wild card spot, and I'm going to go with a little bit of an upset, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Milwaukee Brewers are going to shock the world and get into that second wild card spot, and when they get there, I think they're going to upset the New York Mets. Now, over in the American League, I'm going to predict there's about five or six teams that legitimately have a shot at the two wild card spots. I think one of them is, without question, the Boston Red Sox. I think another one, 
possibly, and this is a little bit of a long shot, I'm going to say the Toronto Blue Jays, but I'm sort of lukewarm on the Blue Jays. They did not have a particularly good offseason. I think the Twins will definitely be in the mix, but they need someone other than Irvin Santana to step up and be their ace. I mean, Irvin Santana is a good pitcher, but he's not really an ace. And I think the Chicago White Sox, believe it or not, I think these guys, there's a lot of young talent on that team. I think these guys are going to rise up. They're going to have a good season. I don't think they're going to get either of the wild card spots, but they're going to be in the mix. So keep an eye on the White Sox. They're kind of my sleeper in the American League this season. And I think the Angels will probably be the lone representative out of the American League West vying for that wild card spot. I don't think Seattle is going to break that playoff drought that they've had for many decades now but ultimately when it's all said and done when the smoke clears I think the Boston Red Sox will have the number one wild card spot and the Angels will get the number two spot and unfortunately for your humble host I think the Red Sox will probably prevail at Fenway Park in that wild card game and move on to the division series. Now in the first National League divisional matchup, you're going to have the Cinderella Milwaukee Brewers going into Washington to take on the Nationals. And this is where the magic carpet ride ends for the Milwaukee Brewers. I think the Nationals will eliminate them and will eliminate them very soundly. And the other divisional matchup, I think for the third time, for the third season, we're going to see Dodgers versus Cubs. And I think the Dodgers will eliminate the Cubs for the second consecutive season. Now, I know there are a lot of baseball fans that absolutely love the New York Yankees. I know there are a lot of baseball fans that love the Boston Red Sox and would love nothing more than for these old two historic rivals to match up in October. Unfortunately, ladies and gents, I don't think it's going to happen this season. I think the Astros are going to eliminate the Red Sox in the division series. Then I think the Cleveland Indians are going to have an absolutely epic series against the Yankees, and they're going to eliminate the Bombers. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Now I know for many, many years now, a lot of people have been saying that the Washington Nationals will win the division, they will get to the World Series, they will win the World Series, and inevitably, these cats get into the playoffs and they absolutely wet the bed. This year, I think it's going to be a little bit different, though. They have a new manager in Dave Martinez. He was the bench coach for Joe Madden for many, many years. I think he's going to bring a little bit more of a lightheartedness into that clubhouse. They've had two disciplinarian managers before him, and this might be the change that they need. They need to bring some zoo animals into the clubhouse there, as Joe Madden has been known to do from time to time. I think that's going to help them greatly. I think they're going to eliminate the Dodgers, and they are going to represent the National League in the World Series. Now on paper, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to stress this, on paper, I think the Houston Astros are the best team in baseball. They are sound in pretty much every category imaginable. They've added Garrett Cole this offseason, which makes their rotation even more scary. I think they'll, de they'll definitely win the division. I think they will get to the ALCS. But let me tell you something, folks. It is very, very difficult to repeat as World Series champions in baseball. This is not basketball where teams win one championship and go on to win like 15 after that in a row. It doesn't happen in this sport. No one has repeated since 2000 when the Yankees did it, and I don't think the Astros are going to do it. The laws of averages are going to catch up with Houston, and I think the Cleveland Indians are going to be a little bit too much for them. I think this series will be an epic series. It'll be one of the best series we've seen in many, many moons, but I think the Indians eliminate them in seven epic games. Now, if the Nationals do indeed qualify for the 2018 World Series, I know there's gonna be one fan base that is gonna be very disconcerted by this turn of events, and that is the Seattle Mariners fans, because they would be the only team that have has actually never qualified for the World Series. It's the Washington Nationals slash Montreal Expos and the Mariners are the only teams that have never appeared in a World Series. So a little bit of history would be made if the Nationals do indeed qualify for the World Series. And I personally believe they will. I think they're going to take on the Indians. I think it's going to be a great World Series. Terry Francona, don't don't be fooled by Terry Francona Kona's nerdy exterior. He drives around in a scooter. He looks kind of like a nerd, but this guy, he is a bad mofo, ladies and gentlemen. This guy is one of the best managers in baseball. 
I think he's going to guide the Indians to the World Series. And Cleveland, I think your time has finally came. It, it, you looked pretty good a couple of years ago, but I think you're going to finally break through. You're going to win the World Series. Your bullpen will be a little bit too much for the Nats. And I'm picking the Cleveland Indians to win the World Series in six games. The Indians win it! The Indians win it! Oh my God! The Indians! But now I want to hear from you guys. This is a baseball community show. I want to hear from each and every one of you, all five of you watchers, down in the comments section, who is going to win the World Series this year? What will be the matchup? Who will represent the American League? Who will represent the National League? And who will the winner be? Let me know down below. And as always, smash that dislike button if you didn't like this video. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care, guys. Happy opening day. Thank <laughs> you.